Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards and I'm doing a little hardware updating so bear with me. The next few videos hopefully will improve little by little as I get new hardware in place, new cameras. Um, it's Christmas time so I took it to buy some, well I primarily used some hardware I already had laying around but bought some parts that I need to get everything working together so hopefully I can get my 4K my audio, everything working as best as possible with what I have. Obviously, I'm not a professional videographer, but I'm doing my best to bring the best experience. Obviously, it's hard to watch something when it's grainy or the sound isn't good. So, any feedback you guys have, I greatly appreciate it. Um, hopefully, this will improve. Today is just a really quick video. Um, a little while back, I... I fell for it. I fell for the uh, Novel Keys Mystery Switch. Now, back a little over a year ago, maybe two, before Novel Keys moved into their new office, they had a really good um, Mystery Switch uh, sale that went on for a few months. I want to say about three or four months. And they did. There was Baby Kangaroos. There was Oil Kings. There was oh, just a ton of of good switches that you could get i mean yeah every once in a while you would get a switch that was meh but um the last time that they did it again a few months back i want to say earlier this year and i fell for it i was like ah oh. even though i i really i've had bad experiences with novel keys let's just leave it at that but i went ahead and bought three packs and what i received were kale reds ttc reds and gateron milky reds I, all of the switches that I bought, I could have bought cheaper from AliExpress than what I paid for it. So, um, despite there being one or two posts that I saw people getting some actual, you know, decent switches, the majority of people got these. So, these have been sitting around for a while, and I mean, I'm not a big fan of reds to begin with, but I do like the sound of the what I believe is a nylon housing the Milkies use. Now, you guys have been paying attention. I'm a big fan of the Princess switches. These switches are um, very nice switches, can be bought for 25 cents or less um, from sellers here in the United States. It's a little bit cheaper even from AliExpress, but they have a, um, now the ones I've been getting, they come pre-lubed. Um, they have different weights for the um, linears as well as the the tactile um, i'm a big fan of the tactile it is a little clacky but once uh, even even though they come lube lubing it up a little bit more actually will deepen it because you know factory lube isn't always the best but the, and the linears are also a fun linear switch now this one that i have here i'm going to say is a 53 gram i think it's the heavier weight that they offer for the linear switch so uh, now being that this one is a fun switch a little bit of a clacky switch but it's got a nice long pole uh, stem it has a very nice sharp bottom out and um, the weight is just light enough for me 53 grams anything lighter mm, uh, I mean there are some switches that are in the 40 45 gram that I like but this is kind of like the perfect for linear for me I prefer even heavier if I'm going tactile but I was like I wonder what the stem of the princess the mmd princess would be like in a milky housing so i took the spring as well as the switch and i put it into these red housings and i made what i'm right now calling the milk princess because this is a very the it the sharpness has gone up the um the bottom out is definitely more i don't know satisfying i guess you could say and it's uh it feels and sounds like it should be a much pricier switch. So, um, and even the ones that are left behind afterwards, which I haven't really come up with a name for yet, but it's the red stem with the with the spring from the red switch in the housing of the um, princess. Now, it doesn't have the long pole, so it's more like a silenced red. But I think for some people, 
because it's not a silenced like it's got a silencer on it but it is it's pretty quiet and um i've yet to load them up on a board but i tried three next to each other and they were actually not that bad so the star of today's show is the milk princess which like i said uh, in this case has the 53 gram uh, two-stage spring from the uh, princess the mmd princess and the nylon housing from the gateron milky red so on today's frank and switch friday i put together the milk princess and i've gone ahead and loaded it up on yes a gmk67 <laughs> now this is a stock gmk67 but it's the newer revision for those that don't know the newer revision of the um, GMK67, um, and I actually found this out before I got one myself, uh, because people were like, oh, I got my GMK67, but there was plastic over the PCB, so I had to take it apart and take out the plastic. And as soon as I received mine, I was like, no, and I made a video. I'll link it down below if I remember. But it's basically like, don't take out the plastic, leave it in. Maybe help it by punching a hole through it, but that plastic is what's called the PET mod, which a lot of newer keyboards are using. And so this one has that. But other than having the PET mod, and one of the ways that you can tell real easy is, well, obviously before you put a switch in, you'll see that there's a little bit remnant of the plastic there, but there's plastic over the LED. Now, this is basically a layer of PET plastic. I want to say it's one mil, but it might be two mil. Um, I've been having a lot of luck with four mil, and I've also been having luck with LDPE, or the plastic that Ziploc baggies are made from. Just cutting them open and using them as a layer and placing it on top of the PCB, but below the IXPE sheet. And of course, if you don't have IXPE, PE foam work just fine. So this is a completely stock um, GMK67, um, I've had a lot of friends recently, actually. It, it's funny how people, like, at first, they're like, you're into mechanical keyboards, what's that? But then they come across one through some other means, and then they're like, wait a minute, you're into keyboards, right? Could you help me with a keyboard? So a lot of uh, friends have been very interested and satisfied with the GMK. I've had friends that were like, there's no way that I could use something that didn't have the function rule or didn't have the... and then I show them layers and I show them how the function keys work and 99% of the time they're like, yep, yeah, that's fine. Yes, there are some folks that'll be like, all right, I need a full size. But then I hand them 1800 and they're like, yeah, that'll work. But by far, the GMK67 has been a very popular contender, especially for the fact that nowadays, I mean, it might take a little time, but I've gotten them as cheap as $17. And on average, I see them from anywhere from $23 to $28, but always less than $30. If you're paying more than $30 for a GMK67, you're paying too much. Now, I know they do sell them on Amazon, and they're about $50, $60. And some people prefer, you know, buying from Amazon. If there's a problem, they can return it within 30 days. And, you know, they're going to get it in a day or two, depending on Prime. So I just know that... AliExpress and shipping from China, where it used to take weeks. I mean, I remember stuff taking five, five, maybe six weeks, is now taking days. I've ordered stuff from AliExpress and received it 10 days later, 10 actual days. That's business and weekends included. So um, the shipping from China has improved significantly. I don't know if it was the pandemic or what, because that did slow it down for a minute, but then all of a sudden now we're getting I mean, shipments so quick that I'm just like, wait a minute, I just ordered this. How am I getting this? Because I, in my mind, I have a two-week buffer. And I try not to even think about what I ordered, but I won't even hit that buffer because it'll arrive before then. So anyway, I've loaded this GMK67 up with um, my Milk Princess. And I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of this um this switch, this Franken switch, because today is Franken switch Friday. Um, I'm going to try to do this more often. I love playing around with switches and making new switches, especially from, you know, maybe not. I mean, obviously the the the, the red isn't necessarily my favorite. I am a fan of the Princess as a linear, but I prefer the tactile. So when a linear 
hits me good, it's usually a pretty good linear, in my opinion anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of my Franklin Switch, the Milk Princess. And it's loaded up on a GMK67, and this is a mix of Dolch keycaps. Uh, this is from um, uh, Yang Kui, and these are from two different... Well, they have those sets that are like really like two sets of, of keys, um, and this is from two different sets of Dolch, of modern Dolch and a Cyan Dolch. I forget their names. There's so many Dolch out there. I've got Evil Dolch, which is black and red, so who knows? So this is uh, just a double shot. I think these keycaps are 1.3, 1.4. Yeah, 1.4 uh, millimeters in thickness. They're double shot. They're actually pretty good. I like them. I've not been dissatisfied with any of the Young Kui sets, and usually I can get them for 20 some dollars. Um, and I mean, for 28 bucks to get actually two keycap sets, or really, you know, two different keycap sets that you could mix and match, um, and either use it as one really, you know, mixed up set, or actually two sets, because there's two full sets of keys for some of them, not all. Of them. So I'm gonna get, go ahead and leave you guys with the sound test of the Milk Princess. Uh, like I said, I'm upgrading some stuff, so bear with me as I get everything tuned and working as best as possible. I have a new video workstation, so I should not have the frame dropouts that I've had in my last two videos. Um, hopefully that should be a thing of the past because I'm no longer using a laptop with an integrated GPU. I am now using a desktop with an NVIDIA um, GTX. And so that's handling all of the encoding. I mean, my CPU is sitting nicely at 13%, 14%, and it says it's doing 30 frames a second. So let's hope that that remains in place and that my videos will be of better quality as I move forward. Anyway, until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.